Hello, good afternoon. I'm so sorry that I'm um, late for my Tuesday at two. I didn't even get a chance to send an email reminder. So I'm not sure how many of you will remember it's Tuesday and that I like to hop on at 2 p.m. Um, because if you're like me, you're starting to lose track of the days. You're starting to lose track of the time. Um, so yes, I had big plans to email everyone and let them know, remind them that I'd be hopping on today at two, but when you know it, there's like a family uh, issue that came up today. So um, that threw everything into a tailspin, but thankfully everybody is okay. Um, basically what happened was, yay, Diane's here. Sorry, it's very exciting to see people live because it makes me feel I'm not talking to myself. Um, so uh, today, actually, my son was gonna, he was supposed to drive out to a warehouse out in Brampton for a job interview. And um, so he left. And then shortly thereafter, my husband got a phone call. Apparently a rock had um, hit the car and totally shattered, like broke, shattered, falling glass pieces in the car on the side window. So I am so thankful that it didn't happen to the front windshield because otherwise the glass would be on his face. Um, but obviously it kind of spooked him out and he couldn't really keep driving with glass falling into the car. It was like the side passenger window um, at the back. So anyway, so he called us and um, my husband and I hopped in our other car, drove out to where he was and um, um, my car is stick shift so he couldn't drive it so I just drove him to his job interview out in Brampton. My husband took the truck and tried to figure out what to do to fix it so anyway I didn't actually think I would be back anywhere close to two um, but it was a pretty straightforward um, job hiring sort of fair type of thing so he was able to get that done and I got home kind of close to two but um, I sort of had to I had nothing prepared because I didn't know I would be running off so quickly to um, to sort out the stuff but I'm very grateful that the glass was on the side and not in front I'm very grateful that um, both my husband and I have uh, are working from home right now so we were able to zip out and help my son <laughs> out on the road there and uh, looks like my son got an offer for for a summer job so um, that's a good thing although it's a bit nerve-wracking with the whole um, virus thing but it looks like the company's really good about um, the social distancing and trying to keep it safe so I'm glad that I'm home to be able to share with you so share some stamping with you guys um, but you'll just have to forgive me once I start the stamping portion. It might be me running around looking for all the little pieces because I didn't have it ready ahead of time. I knew what I was going to stamp, but I didn't have everything pre-cut for you. So if you guys don't mind, I'm still excited to share stamping with you. Let me show you a few things. We just had our weekend retreat this past weekend. And um, let me show you some of the goodies that we did. So... Um, part of my weekend retreat, I love to put little surprise and delight gifts in the, um, in this case, it was a retreat in a box. So it was in the box and um, the theme was like tropical escape. It was supposed to be like a tropical crafting escape. So um, these were some of the goodies. Yes. Yeah, so that, yeah, you're right, Diane. I am so glad he's okay. And uh, um yeah, he got an email with an offer, so I think he's going to probably go ahead with it because at this point he would like to still earn some money this summer for school. Um, yeah, so I think I think it's all going ahead. I don't want to say anything till it's like 100% in the bag there. Um, and I'll just pray that he stays safe out there working with all this COVID stuff going on. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Um, here was one of the make-and-takes from their tree to a little pillow box with a tag so we really tried to go for a, a tropical theme um, this was another one of the little gifties in the box it had like a little flaky pastry inside and uh, oh it's not in here anymore but a um, 
little drink powder, tropical drink powder inside. So we had a good time this weekend. Even though it's not the same as being at the retreat weekend, it was still a good time to to craft and to pretend we were at a tropical destination or just go with the tropical theme. So hi, Karen. Hi, Maureen. Um, yeah, so that's everything that's been going on. How have things been going with you guys? I know it's getting old, the whole social distancing thing, but I hear that it is working like things would be far worse. There would be far more deaths and far more illnesses if we weren't doing what we were doing. So I think the sense I'm getting, if I'm not getting the message wrong, is that we're supposed to continue on. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna continue on with all this physical distancing and um, not getting together with people. And so that's why I think it's even more important that we try to get together online we try to stay connected. Oh, I think I saw Donna pop in. I hope you're okay, Donna. Um, I know it can be so isolating to be at home alone. I don't feel quite isolated, but with all the family around, there there have been, and nobody be able to, able to get out kind of the way that we normally do. Sometimes it's a, a little bit like that at home, but very grateful to uh, all be here. Okay, so let's... Uh, let me share some things. I do want to share some stamping with you. Just a reminder that this month of April, I am showcasing the Witticism stamp set. So let me see if I have the uh, cards that I did in the previous week. Do I have them here? I have one. I don't know where the other one went to. Hang on. Um, here we go. So... The first week of April, I shared uh, shared this one, right? And then the second week, we did this one. This one's missing the rhinestones. But we're really showcasing this stamp set and the different fun things we can do with it. Um, actually, last week when I did this one, it looks like a simple card, but that was actually the idea so that I could do a whole bunch at once. I've mailed a bunch out already. And... Um, that's good. So this week we're going to continue on. And so just a reminder, um, any orders you place online in April will get you the tutorials for all the cards that I've been showcasing this month. Um, and yeah, this one and this one, and then there's going to be one today and one next week. So, and if your order's $50 or more, you will also get the make and take supplies for it too, which is fun. So you can do some stamping on your own time. Okay, so let's uh, flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you a few things we got going on. You're right, Karen, better to be safe than sorry. It's always better to be safe. Okay, let's see if I can get this on here. Oh, I was already sitting in the car driving back thinking, oh, am I gonna, am I gonna make it? in time for Tuesday at 2 and I was thinking maybe I'll have to do it on Thursday instead but I know I was a few minutes late but I'm still happy to be here see I didn't even get a chance to fix up my paper and get some fresh paper but the website is exactly the same the host code is the same um, for the month of April and uh, how many of you um, got your paper pumpkin those of you who are paper pumpkin pals um, how many of you got your paper pumpkin this past week? So that's a fun thing we can work on. Um, I'm really loving all the cards in this. Um, I wish I could, oh, maybe I should show you. So those of you who are my pumpkin pals and who have been receiving the paper pumpkin, I want to show you... I wanted to show you, hi Bev, I wanted to show you one of the cards, how it folds, because it caught me off guard. <laughs> so let me see. Oh, maybe, do I have it here? All the bits and pieces, I opened it up. Is it this? These are the envelopes. Look at the pretty envelopes here. Um, you did get your paper pumpkin, Maureen? That's good. Okay, so this card... Um, I think that's pretty straightforward. There's a piece that folds up here, and you'll stamp the tree here. But the other one I want to show you... Oh, see? Two colors for the envelopes. 
Um, no, I want to show you, is it this one? I think I cut it off so you can't see it. Okay, but let me see. This card here, I'm looking for it so that I can explain something. I don't want you guys to be frustrated when you're making it. Here, here, here. Okay, so I cut a whole bunch of stuff up because I like to make alternates. So this is my alternate. I can't remember whether I showed you guys my alternate. Um, I turned it into like a little easel card. Okay, um, but when this card was in the in the um, kit, I think it was folded like this. So I was really confused. <laughs> so you basically have to, they had folded it this way. It should actually be folded this way. And then there's another score line here for you to fold back. So if you haven't done your paper pumpkin yet and you're confused because it's coming to you like this and you're not sure how it's supposed to fold, you actually essentially kind of have to refold it going the other way and then fold this piece back and then you'll layer on this layer okay um, but anyway that is the paper pumpkin so have fun doing that paper pumpkin is a perfect solution during this time right now so if you are not one of my paper pumpkin subscribers please become one of my paper pumpkin subscribers so that you can get a happy box in you at your door delivered to your door once a month and you don't have to stress about what projects you're going to make you don't have to dig around in your craft room for all thousand supplies you need everything is in the box so you can become a subscriber and cancel anytime so after one month if you want to cancel that's totally fine or if this horrible thing drags on for a few months more you can just it automatically just keeps coming um, as long as you want until you cancel Okay, so I would love to have you enjoy Paper Pumpkin with me because I am enjoying it more now that we're in isolation too. Okay, so that was one thing I wanted to show you. And why don't we just dive in to the card for this week. I'm going to be using the Witticism stamp set. See if I can get rid of a bit of the shadow there. Okay, I don't know if that's better. We're going to use the Witticism stamp set and I'm going to go ahead and use one of our note cards. Okay, so they're just pre-cut, pre-scored Whisper White note cards. That'll be our card base today. And then I'm going to, um, because I didn't have everything all pre-organized because of our little family emergency with the car, you'll have to, you'll have to bear with me as I dig out some pieces here. Um, and then all I'm doing is I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch smaller. So... Um, we're going to make this, this is three and a half. The note card is three and a half by five. Okay, so let's see whether we can cut this a quarter of an inch smaller at three and a quarter, which this already is, by four and three quarters. Okay, is that right? Yep. Okay, so we're just going to layer that right on top. Oh, hi, Debbie. It is great to see you live. How are you? I haven't chatted with you in a while. I hope you're well, Debbie. I was just sharing earlier that we had that. I was a few minutes late logging on because we had this unexpected little emergency with my son and the truck and a rock hitting the truck and my son still needing to get to his job interview and Kevin and I running out the door. Anyway, so I was actually... When I was waiting for my son at the interview, I was actually starting to see if I could compose a, an email so that people would know that I might not be able to hop on my usual Tuesday at 2, but yay, I made it. It was more like Tuesday at 2.10 today, but we made it. Okay, so that's our layer, and then uh, I'm going to do a whisper white layer on top. So I'll just have to bear with me since I didn't have time to pre-cut everything due to our little unexpected situation but the good thing about this pandemic is that I'm learning to fly by the seat of my pants even more than I normally do because you just don't know what's going to happen nowadays you could just be rolling along fine as anything and then they call a global pandemic who knows what could happen you could be rolling along fine as anything and then just get a 
phone call that a rock has smashed through your car. You just don't know. Okay, uh, three and a half, so I'm going down a quarter of an inch again. Um, wait a minute, sorry guys. So this side is three and a half, so I've gone to three and a quarter, so now I should be going down to three inches. And then a quarter of an inch again, so I think it'll be four and a half if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that we can get our extra layer. Yes, thank you, Sharon. I am happy that everything worked out too. God is good. I'm just, you just got to roll with the punches sometimes. <laughs> okay. At first my son was like, maybe this job isn't meant for me if I got this rock through my window. I'm like, no, no, sometimes these things happen. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do, let me cut the pieces ahead of time for you guys, okay? Maybe that'll help me to go faster when I'm actually putting the card together. I'm going to be using some of the um, Peaceful Poppies designer series paper, and I'm going to use this design here. Okay, and... Yeah, why don't I do that? I'm going to cut all the pieces so that when I make the card, it'll just go a little bit faster. So let's say, I don't know, let's go for the one inch maybe. Um, I think, I don't know whether that's kind of too small for what I was going for. Maybe I'll try one and a half inches. Let's try that. Okay, and then I am going to layer it up here just like that so this length I believe is four and a half if I'm not mistaken so we'll need that piece yep perfect and you can you can start to guess which stamp I'm going to use here so far I've got black and white and green if you guys want to take a guess and see which stamp I'm going to be using um, let's also Thanks, Maureen. Yeah, I think you could tell that I'm a little frazzled here. You're so nice. I'm. You're right. I'm just going to slow down, take my time. We're just going to stamp a card together. That's all. And stamping is super therapeutic. So what I'm looking for now is my sweetly stitched dies. So let's look for that. Here they are. The stitch so sweetly dies. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, the power didn't go out. I just hit my lamp. Okay, so let's go with the Stitch So Sweetly die. Okay, and we'll, I think we'll go with this shape here. So we'll cut that out. And then maybe at the same time, we'll see if we can cut out the using the old olive may as well grab that paper at the same time so you see how it coordinates it'll be really nice together and then um, we'll use my layering circle so let's look for that layering Okay, you guys are the best waiting for me here. Okay, so I think um, maybe we'll go with this one or maybe a little smaller. Mm, let's, let's see. So the great thing is the layering circles has lots of, lots of different sizes. So I think we'll go for this one. Okay. And then we'll see if there's a circle that fits fits inside. That might work. Okay. Let's put this away. Of course I dropped a die on the floor, but we'll we'll pick it up no problem. Okay. So let's move that over here and let's get our friend the big shot. So it's it was super it's super fun being a demonstrator today because there were some really exciting updates on the demonstrator website. So if you're not a demonstrator, 
you might want to become one just to hear the updates. I'm not going to share too much because um, I don't know if I can. But one of the exciting things that I am allowed to share is that tomorrow they are releasing the retiring list. So what that means is that products that will not be available in the new catalog, which is releasing in June, they are going to tell us which products are retiring. And the reason why that's important is because it means it's the last chance to get them. So if there's a favorite stamp set, a favorite embellishment, a favorite paper, and it's not going to be in the new catalog, at least you know. And you can make an informed decision about whether you want to buy it now or say sayonara. sayonara. <laughs> okay. So tomorrow you'll for sure, I don't know, unless there's another family emergency tomorrow, you will be getting an email from me, those of you who are on my email newsletter, letting you know um, what the retiring items are. I'll probably just put a link to my online store. Now sometimes they will um, discount some of the retiring products. They don't tend to discount a lot, just so you don't get your hopes up there. Um, because they don't really need to, because just knowing that it's last chance usually means um, it's kind of the last chance to get them. So, but it's not unusual that there will be some things that will be uh, discounted. So you definitely want to check out my email tomorrow. If you're not on my newsletter list, um, I'll post the link in this video afterwards so that you can join my email newsletter list. That's really the best way to stay in the loop of what's going on with the Stampin' for Fun world. So you guys can all uh, get excited. I don't want it to make you too excited that you don't sleep tonight, but I won't lie. I'll probably end up getting up super early tomorrow just to check the list. I'm not sure what time that list is released, though. I should check that before I go to bed so that I don't have a fitful sleep wondering if they're going to release it at 12, a 12 in the morning. Sometimes they... Sometimes they release things at 2 p.m., in which case there's absolutely no point losing any sleep getting excited about the list. Okay, so do I have most of the pieces I need? Most of it, I think. I could probably slice this piece, and then I'll have all my pieces ready. Thank you for being patient, my friends. You can always talk to me and tell me what excitement is going on in your household, too, because I always love to connect with you and hear from you. Okay. Okay, so I think we've got all our pieces here. This is what I started with. Here we go. And I just need one more stamp set. Okay. Let's see if we can find the stamp set I need. Yep. So the other stamp set that I'm using is the Painted Poppies. <laughs> You're right, Maureen. I'll still wake up with anticipation. You're absolutely right. Um, and because the other big deal is it's not just the retiring list tomorrow, those of us that are demonstrators, we get to actually see what's in the new catalog. And that, for sure, is very exciting. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm just doing a bit of a background using the painted poppies, and I'm going to use this splatter stamp. So I'm going to use this splatter stamp and pop it on a block here, and I'm going to use old olive. It's so good to connect with you guys. Oh, thank you, Bev. 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Oh, that's really late. So that's like 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, okay, I don't have to lose any sleep about that. <laughs> I'll for sure be up at 3 p.m. I'm typically an early bird, so I could wake up at like 5. Well, since the pandemic, I haven't really that often woken up at like 5 a.m., but there. I'm just going to do a bit of a background stamp here and these splatter stamps are great to kind of create a background and then we'll move that out of the way and then we'll use our featured product of the month stamp so in case you didn't guess I'm gonna be doing the cactus today okay so let me get that because we've got all these greens it's great for the cactus and what I'm gonna do actually is I am going to kind of create a little mask here because I just want the cactus part. 
I don't want the looking sharp part. So what I'm going to do is put a little post-it note here. Put my cactus on here. Okay, and here's the key. If I don't want the looking sharp, I kind of covered it up. Okay, um, and you can ink it up just like that. Okay, but you must remove the, the, the post-it note. Okay, and then you can do this. The other way you could do it is just use your stamp and write markers and just ink it up. Okay, so then you get just the cactus part without the looking sharp part. Okay, da -da -da. so that is that and we'll stick this on here. Yeah, it is a cute color for a cactus. It seems just right. So let's uh, adhere that on using my favorite adhesive, the snail adhesive. Okay, so I am still doing my stamping classes. They've just gone all online for now. And uh, my next one that you need to be signing up for is my technique class. I'll have to show you a sneak peek if I remember when I've done this demonstration. So technique class, we make three fancy cards. There we go. I'm just going to put that DSP there. Um, and I'll put, oh, sorry, I'm going to grab this. Okay, and I'll put this on top. Okay. Right. And then uh, if I find any dimensionals around, because I had my crafting weekend, my stuff has been spread all over the place. And I know I probably had like three packages of dimensionals open somewhere, but that's okay. We'll find other ones. Let's pop some dimensionals on here. Actually, these ones are left over from a previous paper pumpkin. It's the great thing about paper pumpkin. You end up with extra bits. It just adds value to your, your investment, your paper pumpkin investment. Every paper pumpkin box, you get new stamp set. You get a new mini ink. Okay. There we go. Okay. And now this part is a little bit funny here because I wanted to use this piece and just put it as a little saying here but I want to just use the looking sharp part. So let me make sure that it's cleaned, that my stamp is cleaned, and let's see how it goes here. So this is my stamp and scrub. So I'm just going to clean my stamp, dry it on the other side, okay, and hopefully we've got that cleaned off. And then I'm just going to try to get the looking sharp part. So we're doing kind of the same thing. Okay, kind of hiding the cactus. It's kind of hard. There's a little piece right there. So it's not perfect. But then what I'm going to do is kind of ink up just the looking sharp part using my Versamark ink. And I'm going to get everything ready here because we're going to do some embossing. Okay, um, so with, when I do embossing, I like to rub my paper with the embossing buddy. This helps to get away the static, so that it helps the embossing powder to stick where I want it to stick. Okay, always remember to remove the post-it note. We'll do our looking sharp. Okay, yep, looks pretty good there. And then... Let's move this stuff out of the way because I'm going to use my paper like a bit of a funnel and I'm going to pour this on. I know there's probably more efficient ways to do the embossing powder but that's what I do. Just want to make sure that I save my powder because then it makes it last longer. And then I can funnel it back in. Okay. 
Oh, a good way to store paper pumpkin stamp sets? You know what I do is I just put them in a case like this, these clear mount cases. You can just buy these clear cases. And then I put my paper pumpkin stamp sets in here. Um, but I know on the website that you can actually, um, sorry, I'm, I'm just looking at Sharon's comment. You can actually download um, labels for your paper pumpkin stamp sets. I'm trying to get away this little extra embossing powder. I think it's the bottom of the cactus that got on there. I was trying to see if I could get rid of some of it. Okay, we're good. So let's heat that up. With the heat tool on the second setting. Okay, and you'll know it's done when it goes white and shiny. So I don't know if you can see that it's starting to happen there. Yeah. Okay, and then we can put that on here. If we wanted to. We could have flagged the corners, the edges, but I think I'll just leave it like that. Um, so sorry, Sharon, I was just finishing telling you, I'm pretty sure that you can actually download, um, you know, just like there's a cover like this, and it's really just a paper insert inside the case. I'm pretty sure that you can um, download those inserts so you can buy these clear mount cases put your stamp set in it have a paper pumpkin little insert and so then that'll keep it organized for you ah yes you could also buy a scrapbook album put them in there okay so let's add a little embellishment because i love embellishments i'm going to use our white twine and so don't forget, if you want the make and take pieces for these cards, all you have to do um, is place an order, and uh, your order just has to be over $50. If you shop on my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net, use that host code, um, and then you will receive the make and take supplies for all four cards using the witticisms stamp set that I've been showcasing this month. So it's a, basically a free class in the mail. And it's just my way of thanking you for your order um, and, you know, thanking you for your online order. Okay, so there you go. I just put a little bit of twine around um, and then we'll stick it onto our note cards base. Okay, that's it. If we wanted to, we could even add like a little knot here. Ah, so I made the card after all, even though I was feeling a bit frazzled after the adventure today. But we did it. We did it. Here you go. Let's tie it. You can just tie a little knot. Add a little excitement there. Because this is the kind of excitement I can handle. Okay. Okay. So now we've done three cards showcasing this stamp set. Let's see whether, I know I showed you the other ones. Where I put them is a mystery. Let's see. Either I have them here, there they are. Okay, so today's card using the witticism stamp set, last week's card using the witticism stamp set, and the first Tuesday in April um, using the witticism stamp set. So just next week will be our last week showcasing this as our product of the month and um, hopefully these projects have inspired you with this stamp set those of you who have it get stamping enjoy it um, those of you who don't feel free to order it it's very cute it's great for kids and adults alike and if you'd love the tutorials with all the measurements and all that stuff any size order um, using this host code I will uh, send you those tutorials, but if you want the make and take pieces, um, just make sure your order is $50 or more. So thanks for tuning in. Oh, I, I promised I was going to show you a little sneak peek from my technique class coming up. So I was playing 
with a couple of uh, so I think we're gonna do some fancy folds in technique class so here's one okay this one's more finished because I put the uh, here I suppose I like to put the measurements okay see that so then you can write your message in here it's a great way to use your DSP and if you sign up for technique class it'll be all done online but you can still pick up the packets from me or I can mail them to you and then you'll, um, you'll also get the tutorials with the measurements so you always know how to score for these fancy fold cards this is one of them here's the other one okay so fun 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 I can't wait to do that class that's always on the first Monday of the month Okay, so thanks for joining in. Let me flip the camera around so that I can say a proper um, hello, proper goodbye. Let's see if we can flip it around. I'll turn the light on. Okay, we did it, my friends. <laughs> thanks for joining in. I love sharing stamping with you guys. It's a great way for us to connect. Thank you for your comments. Um, oh, I forgot to, I'll go look and see who the winner was last week for commenting and sharing. So those of you tuning in after, don't be shy. You can comment, you can share the video. It's just my way of sharing stamping and um, I can enter you into a little door prize. Okay, so have a fantastic rest of the Tuesday and um, have a great week. I'll be back next week on Tuesday to see the Tuesday at 2 to see the final project that I'll be doing using the Witticism stamp set. Bye for now. Hi, Diane. Okay, bye for now. Yeah, stay safe, everyone. Wash your hands a lot. Don't go out too much. Um, okay, bye. We'll get through this together. Bye.